Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, it's actually Sunday night and I wasn't going to record this but I told myself that I wanted to clean my stove along other stuff. So this is going to be a little, not so much weekly reset because it's already Sunday night, but it'll be a little like beginning of the week. I also was planning on meal planning and meal prepping today for the week. But that didn't happen, which is completely fine. So I wanted to come on here to clean my kitchen, but also do all those things tomorrow morning, which would still be setting me up for success this week. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here because sometimes things don't happen the way that you want them to happen, and that's totally okay. So Victor's also here cleaning the fridge, the stainless steel. Polishing. Polishing the fridge. <laughs> And I already started cleaning my stove, but look at how disgusting this looks. It looks so bad. Don't ask me how I got like this because I really don't know. Anyways, I already started washing these. But I'm going to clean these, clean these, and everything else and show you guys the process. And then I'm going to go to bed and come back tomorrow to meal plan and go grocery shopping with you guys. stove all the stainless steel parts with this it did such a good job love it just made victor's iced coffee i love this curry because you're able to make iced coffees and hot ones but let's see which mug should we use today let's do my hello kitty I've also really been liking putting this sweet condensed milk inside of my coffee and a little bit of creamer. So, so good. Such a game changer. Now that we have our coffee, it's time to put everything back. It looks so squeaky clean and I'm excited. <music> made some sweet potato purees for the baby and i'm also working up on making a pear puree and this is going to be good hopefully for the next two to three days my parents actually got those steamers and like the baby blender for vito for christmas and it came with these little cute containers which i love because you're able to put like which day you made it and you can store it in the fridge in this. So cute, I love it. It also comes with one of these for like smoothies and whatnot. So cute. Look at how cute. These containers look, love them. So I'm finally here to share you guys my meal plan for the week. It literally looks so empty, but we're essentially going to be eating this week barbecue chicken. We're gonna have arroz chaufa, which is Peruvian fried rice with some shrimp that we had left over from last week. And then we're gonna have like beef, with rice and I think veggies maybe, I'm not sure. We're just gonna wing it. We're not trying to spend too, too much this week. So we decided to go to Aldi, which I ended up going to Aldi last week for um, I think like one or two things. And I was wondering like, why don't I shop at Aldi? Like it's really close. 
and it's very inexpensive. So since we're trying to cut down our groceries budget, we've decided to go to Aldi. I did go ahead and pick up some things from Target um, beforehand, just because I know a lot of the stuff that Aldi has isn't like name brand or anything like that. And I thought that they wouldn't have some things specifically that we like to get like our creamer. Um, I also got like barbecue sauce, uh, Greek yogurt, orange juice, Alfredo. So I went ahead and placed an order ahead of time with Target. So we're just gonna do a drive up. And then I picked up some things for Vito's, some last minute things for Vito's Easter basket. Also, I had a gift card from Target that I got for my birthday. And then I had a $10 gift card for some like Target Circle thing we did. Also had one of those like exclusive like Target discounts that you sometimes get. I know not everybody gets it, but I've gotten it a few times and it was getting $20 off a $120 order. And since I was already going to buy some things with my gift card, I thought that it'd be perfect to also buy stuff like the baby's formula and some groceries. So we only ended up spending, I think for everything, like out of pocket, like $79. And his formula is already like $40. So after doing some girl math, I think we'd saved quite a bit of money. So I'll show you guys what we end up picking up from Target and also what we end up picking up from Aldi. So let's go. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store and we went, like I mentioned, to Aldi and to Target. Most of this was from Aldi actually. The only things that we got from Target were these few things. So everything else we got at Aldi. And I think we did pretty good. We only spent around like $70 at Aldi, but Victor says that this should have all been $50. What do you guys think? I feel like, it looks like, it I feel like back in the day, this could have all been $50, but here's what we got. We got some peaches and strawberries for fruit this week. And then we also got some bacon, some deli meat. This I will say is way cheaper than at other places and it definitely looks more fresh um, we also got pork sausage links some salami because i'm trying out this salad i saw on tiktok which also has artichoke hearts sun-dried tomatoes which i already have in the fridge and some garbanzo beans we also got some of these chicken drumsticks steak there this bag of mini avocados this is actually really inexpensive it was like less than three dollars for all these asparagus cucumber needed some lettuce we got bread some waters we also got water bottles and some eggs and this is what we got from target some yogurts for baby he actually really liked the banana ones banana and oat ones so i got him the peach and oat to try he really likes these too as well as like teething snack so i got him this one some sweet baby rays, barbecue sauce. This was a new purchase. We usually get the Greek gods yogurt, but Good and Gather had this vanilla honey Greek yogurt. So we got that, milk, orange juice, creamer, and some garlic alfredo. So yeah, those were our groceries for the week. And stay tuned for what will so be. I'm about to start on my barbecue chicken with my drumsticks here. I looked up a recipe up on TikTok, but I don't know what I could pair the barbecue chicken with. So I'm not sure if we're still going. We were thinking mashed potatoes, I believe. Barbecue chicken tonight. So I just wanted to show you guys how that looked. We had leftover white rice and Mexican rice. So we're just gonna eat it with this. And I also made some mashed potatoes, which is kind of weird with the Mexican rice, but Let's see how it turns out. This is how it turned out. It's good. <laughs> it's just hot. I love hot food. But Josh really hates hot food. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot, so I don't know. I was telling Victor how I feel like I put too much seasoning on the potatoes, but I feel like with everything, it's actually pretty good. This is my first time making barbecue chicken, so So it's Friday, I'm gonna make lunch. I'm gonna make one of Victor's future favorite salads. <laughs> it's gonna have lettuce. 
sun-dried tomatoes, some salami, cucumbers, garbanzo beans, artichoke hearts, and a nice little dressing. And Vito's mm. gonna have some zucchini puree. Mm. <laughs> and then a little strawberry. So that's what he's gonna eat. I made zucchini puree yesterday. So we're all gonna eat right now. Look at how good this turned out.